You're probably already partially aware of what our Earth looks like on the inside. And you might have asked yourself what the other seven planets in our solar system look like. What's at the core of Mercury, for example? Or what would Mars look like in cross-section if you were to cut it open? In the following video, we want to get to the bottom of this question and show you exactly what's inside the planets that move in our solar system. If you like our videos, feel free to support us with a thumbs up, subscribe to Simply Space, and get excited about many more fascinating videos in the future. Earth, your home in cross-section. Let's start with our home planet, Earth. Of course, you most likely already know roughly what's inside our planet. But let's take a closer look at the Earth's interior before we look at the rest of the planets in our solar system. The Earth is similar to a peach and consists of different shells surrounding a large core. The uppermost shell, which is also called the Earth's crust, is on average 22 miles thick. Underneath this is the thick Earth mantle, which might stand in our peach analogy for the fruit's flesh. The Earth's mantle is almost 1,864 miles thick and consists for the most part of vicious rocks. If we remain with the comparison to a peach, now naturally the pit or core follows. The Earth's core also consists of two parts one extending from the 1,367-mile-thick outer shell, which becomes up to 9,032 degrees Fahrenheit hot, as well as the inner core, which is with a temperature of 10,832 degrees Fahrenheit slightly warmer than the outer shell. The inner core is slightly smaller than our moon, and in contrast to the outer shell, is not liquid, but solid. Mercury small planet with big density. The rocky planet Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system, but has the highest density. This planet, too, consists of different layers surrounding a core, as it is with most solid planets. The core of Mercury consists mostly of iron and nickel and seems to be especially large, which would explain its high density. The common models of the planet say about 70% of Mercury's mass should be at its core. The mantle, which encloses Mercury's huge core, would therefore have to be about 373 miles thick. The mantle is thought to consist of molten silicate rocks enclosed by the outer crust. This crust, which is the outer surface of Mercury, appears to be extremely solid and also has an impressive thickness of 20 to 25 miles. From its chemical composition, strong parallels and similarities to the Earth's crust are noticeable here. Venus, another Earth-like rocky planet. Venus is also comparable to our home planet and Mercury in terms of its internal structure. The core of Venus is surrounded by an equally large mantle as well as by an additional crust, exactly like the Earth and Mercury. The core of Venus also consists of iron and nickel, but it's probably somewhat smaller than the core of the Earth. With its diameter of about 1,864 miles, the core of Venus probably accounts for about 20% of the total mass of the planet. The mantle of the core is also likely to consist of various silicate minerals on Venus. The overlying crust of the planet has a thickness of 12 to 25 miles. In some places, scientists even suspect a thickness of up to 37 miles. Another thing many researchers still disagree about is the core of Venus. Here, we're still not sure whether the core is now partly still liquid or completely hardened. Mars, the Red Giant For many years, the Red Giant has ignited the imaginations of many people. The Martians dominated many sci-fi works early on. But today we know a lot more about the giant red planet. Like most planets in our solar system, 
Mars has a shell-like structure with an iron-rich core. Mars also has a surface crust and an underlying mantle of silicate minerals, which enclose a core of metallic iron. The crust has a thickness of 53 miles, making it almost three times thicker than the terrestrial crust. The nearly 1,000-mile-thick mantle encloses the Martian core. This core consists, as already mentioned, of iron and nickel and also contains sulfur. However, all data comes from purely theoretical models and calculations and do not offer 100% certainty. Jupiter, the gas giant in our solar system. Now that you have learned a bit about the structure of the rocky planets in our solar system, it's time to get to know the gas planets better. We'll start with the largest planet, Jupiter. The planet Jupiter is considered one of the most impressive and largest planets in our solar system. According to the latest scientific findings, the gaseous planet is thought to have a solid core of rock, which, as with most planets, consists of metallic materials. The entire core is theorized to have the size of our Earth and a temperature of over 68,000 degrees Fahrenheit. The gigantic core is surrounded by a layer of metallic hydrogen several thousand miles thick. At least, this is what various calculations and computer models by different scientists show. Due to the extreme pressure and temperature conditions, the main component of the planet, hydrogen, behaves like liquid metal from a certain depth. The outer layer also consists of hydrogen and has a thickness of 12,000 miles. This layer is also thick because of the pressure, but it changes to a gaseous state in a boundary layer above it. Saturn, the mysterious ring planet. The mysterious ring planet Saturn also has strong similarities to the gas giant Jupiter in terms of its internal structure. Substantial differences arise only in the layer thickness as well as in the core size of the two planets. The core of Saturn is somewhat smaller than the Earth and thus also smaller than the core of Jupiter. According to scientific calculations, it is thought to consist of metallic materials as well as ice. Pressure and the gravity affecting the core compress it constantly further. Instead, inside the core, it is said to be over 54,000 degrees Fahrenheit. As with Jupiter, the silicate ice core is covered by a layer of liquid hydrogen. Due to Saturn's lower mass, however, this layer is likely to be much thinner than that of Jupiter. The planet's outer layer is composed of atomic and liquid hydrogen, but this layer is significantly thicker than Jupiter's. Although the size difference between the two planets is very slight, Saturn has a much smaller mass than the gas giant Jupiter. Saturn also has an almost smooth transition between gaseous and liquid hydrogen. Uranus, the somewhat unique gas planet. Uranus is also called a gas planet, and therefore its inner structure is similar to that of Jupiter and Saturn. However, you find some clear differences with Uranus in comparison to the other two gas planets. In the interior of Uranus, there is a rocky core with a temperature of about 12,600 degrees Fahrenheit. It's said to be somewhat smaller than our Earth and consists of silicate minerals and ice. Above that are some layers of gas with increasing density. Unlike the other gas giants, though, there's no layer of metallic hydrogen, but of compressed water, methane, and ammonia ice. The majority of the entire mass of Uranus is concentrated in this layer. Because of this, the planet often gets the nickname Ice Giant. Above the gigantic ice layer is an atmosphere consisting of methane, hydrogen, helium, and ammonia. Also, here the methane portion is clearly higher than with the other two gas giants. Neptune, Uranus's twin planet. The last gas planet, Neptune, is often called the twin of the planet Uranus. This is because its inner structure resembles Uranus quite markedly. Neptune also has an Earth-sized core of rock and metal, 
which is surrounded by a layer of water, ammonia, and methane ice. This mantle has 15 times the mass of the Earth. However, this estimation is extremely difficult to verify because the depth and width of the mantle is unknown. The mantle of the core merges into the atmosphere of Neptune, which consists of hydrogen and helium. Traces of methane are also found here and are largely responsible for Neptune's blue color, again, similar to Uranus. As you have seen in this video, the planets in our solar system are all quite similar in structure. All of them have quite a large core of rock, minerals, or ice, and are surrounded by different layers. You can divide the planets of our solar system into two categories, the gaseous and the rocky planets. Both consist of completely different materials, but are relatively identical with regard to their structure. What do you think about the structure of the planets of our solar system? Would you have thought that the planets are so similar? Tell us what you think in the comments.